Speaking in a recent event, Nama highlighted the importance of fostering a peaceful mindset among Papua New Guineans to attract tourists. From the world levels of villages to energies to districts and provinces, we must create a mindset that a peaceful environment is rewarding and we can attract tourists to, our, to come to our country. Not only tourists from other parts of the world, but also local tourists. He underscored that preserving and promoting traditional artistic skills can provide economic stability while enhancing cultural heritage. Preserving and promoting traditional artistic skills, arts and culture can be monetized. That singing and dancing and our knowledge and links to our immediate environment, flora and fauna, can be tend to curse. If the atmosphere is right, we can monetize it. This sector has the unique ability to create opportunities for all. Like I said, it is inclusive. Nama stated that a vibrant tourism industry is not only economically vital and environmentally sustainable, but also inclusive, allowing every Papua New Guinean to contribute to the country's development. The expert of our own art and culture. Now, if we were to monetize that, would all Papua New Guineans be fully employed today? Just imagine, if we monetize our art and culture in our country, there will be no unemployment. Everyone will be engaged because tourism, art and culture is inclusive. In economic landscape, benefiting all citizens of Papua New Guinea, James Guken, National MTV News.